Hello everyone, welcome to Basic Science Facts, Know the Known Better with me, Shobha Krishna Kumar. In this video, we can see what happens to the baby if mother have negative blood group. Suppose if father's blood group is positive and mother's blood group is negative, there is a chance to have some danger for their second baby. Yes, the child can suffer from a disease called hemolytic anemia. This means the RBC of the child will be destructed. And also we can see how to prevent this. We all know our blood is red in color and this is because of the RBC present in our blood. In RBC there is a protein called hemoglobin which is responsible for the red color of the blood. If we ask someone about their blood type, they say A positive or B positive or A negative or B negative or whatever it is, our blood group is determined by the blood group of our parents. And why we all have different different blood groups? There are some types of proteins present on the RBC. We call these proteins as antigen. These antigens determines the blood group. For example, one with blood group A will have A antigen on the RBC. One with blood group B will have B antigen on the RBC. One with blood group AB will have both A and B antigen on the RBC. And one with blood group O does not have any of these antigen. Now we can see how we say a blood group is positive or negative? If the blood group is positive, the RBC have an additional antigen called as RH antigen. In this table, you can see for A positive blood, there are two antigens present on the RBC. One is A antigen and the another one is RH antigen. But if the blood group is negative, for example, for A negative, only one antigen is present. That is A antigen is present and RH antigen is not present. So if there is no RH antigen, then the blood group is said to be negative. Next we can see how a baby's blood group is determined. So the baby's blood group is determined by the blood group of the parents and in this table all the possible blood types are given. You can just go through it. And why it is very important to note the blood group of the baby? Because if a mother's blood is negative and baby's blood is positive, the baby may get some anemia like problem as I already told you. Now, when a negative blood group women and positive blood group man conceive a child, if negative blood group women is conceived with positive blood group child, the cells from the positive blood group fetus enters into the women's bloodstream. Now the women's body will become sensitized and starts producing antibodies for those positive antigens present in the child. Now, when this mother is conceived again, that means in her second pregnancy, if she is conceived with the positive blood group child, what happens is the already produced antibodies in the mother's body will enter into the child's body and starts attacking the antigen of the child. So, what happens is this starts destructing the RBC of the child leading to hemolytic anemia. And this is very dangerous condition in, and it has to be noted. And how to prevent this? So if a mother is having negative blood group and surely she have to be taken an injection called as anti-D injection at the 7th month of her pregnancy. By taking this injection, she can prevent this disease. Thank you.